Hello. So today I want to show a classic example of a binomial series calculation. Um, suppose you have a ugly cubed root function, right? And you want to evaluate it at this point, one point, one point one, right? Um, so power series, they get more and more accurate as you use more term and more terms, right? But here we, we're saying, okay, just calculate this using a degree three power series, right? So, so maybe a better, a more uh, honest way to say what we're doing here is estimate, right? So let's, let's estimate the value of this number using a degree three power series, right? If you take all infinitely many terms in the power series, you'll get exactly that value, but let's just estimate it using finitely many terms. So how could you do this? You could say, well, consider the binomial series, right? Um, there we can write down the whole infinite series. Right, so what function am I going to use? I'm going to use um, the cubed root of 1 plus x, which it can also be said as 1 plus x to the 1 third power, right? And so this is a binomial series. Um, how do you expand this with the binomial series? If you want to use the choose notation, you can say this is 1 third choose n x to the n as n goes from 0 to infinity. Or you can write it out in expanded form, right? You can say this is 1 third choose 0 plus one third choose one x plus one third choose two x squared plus one third choose three x cubed plus dot 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 it keeps going forever right but if you if you just want an approximation which that's all we're doing here we're just saying do do out to degree three you can just truncate all that right the dot 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 just drop it and what are we going to approximate it by just those first four terms right so this is one plus one third x plus one third and minus times minus two thirds over two factorial x squared plus one third minus two thirds minus five thirds over three factorial x cubed. Right? And this is just following the um, how you do the and choose k notation, right? You always start at this number tells you what to start your numerator at. Um, this number tells you what factorial goes in the denominator. And then how do you get these other numbers? Well, you subtract one, right? You subtract one each time, almost like a factorial. It's just a weird factorial starting at one third, right? Um, and how do you know when to stop, right? Well, you stop, the bottom number tells you when to stop because this says there are three, and here's one, two, three, right? So there are three numbers being multiplied together in the numerator. So that's how we know what to, um, what to put there for that one third choose three. And similarly for the other two coefficients, three, the other three. The other three. Um, so there we go. There's our degree three power series estimate for this function. Then we can you know grind this out a little bit um, to get it in the slightly nicer form. Um, you know, reduce, reduce those fractions, right? I can cancel these twos here, right? <clears throat> um, similarly, on this next one, I can reduce the fraction a little bit, right? Some twos cancel. So I have five up top and then in the bottom, um, yeah, again, the twos canceled, but I have four threes multiplied together. So 81 in the bottom. So there's our, um, there's our degree three power series estimate for this cubed root function, right? Um, so this is now a formula so this right here, right? This is our cubic approximation to our function, right? To the cubed root of one plus X. That's what we just figured out is this cubic approximation. And so now you can say, all right, well, plug X equals 0 0.1 into both sides, right? And that will give us an estimate for the number that we're looking for, right? We're looking for the cubed root of 1.1. And I can plug 0.1 into both sides and I get one plus a third 0.1 minus one ninth 0.01, right? Plus five over 81, 0.001. And if I crunch this out, this will give me a pretty good idea um, of what the value of cubed root of 1.1 is, right? And what's cool here is you can actually do this with um, you can actually do this by hand. It might be a little bit messy, right? But notice I um, 
you know, this whole process, right? I um, I didn't use any calculators. I didn't use any computer algebra systems. Everything up here, I did it all by hand, right? This was all just you know, doing it completely by by hand. So that that's what's kind of amazing about these um, power series methods, right? They reduce these more difficult calculations: a sine, a cosine, a an exponential, a logarithm, a radical, right? In this case, a cube root. They reduce these more difficult calculations to basic arithmetic. Look what I'm doing here. It's just that plus times minus divide, right? This is why it's such a such a powerful method. Um, and let's see, five over eighty-one. That's a little. Uh, that's a little bit harder, right? Um, than a third or a ninth. The third and the ninth, I have the decimals uh, memorized, right? Five over eighty-one. We need to do a little bit of long division on, right? And you know, is it a little tedious to do this long division? Yes, of course. But I'm, you know, I also want to be a purist here and. We started without any technology, and I want to continue without any technology. Um, so it, 81 doesn't go into 5, doesn't go into 50, right? But it does go into 500. Um, we could fit it what, six times, I think. Yeah, that looks good, right? 486. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and I'm actually, what's kind of funny, I'm just going to leave it there. That's <laughs> that's plenty because it's about to get multiplied by 0 0.001 anyway. So it's it's so minuscule, right? It's so um, 0 0.001. There we go. So I did my little bit of long division there. Um, and then I can, now I can write all this out, right? So I have this one plus what? 0 0.0333. Right, and then I have minus 0 0.00111. And then here I have plus 0 0.00006. There we go. Right, because this says one, two, three zeros. Move the decimal as three zeros. There was already a zero in front of the six. So now there should be four zeros in front of the six. Right, that's how we did that multiplication. So now, what happens from here? Well, I just do the, the good old arithmetic. So what do I have? I have 1.03, and then three is forever, right? And then from that, I'm gonna subtract 0.001's forever, right? And I'm gonna add to that 0 0.0006, right? So I'm, I'm just lining in those digits up vertically so I can see what it is. Um, so when I do the subtraction, I get 0, 03, and then twos forever, right? And then I add back in this 0. 0.006, right? And what does that give me? It gives me 1.03228, right? And then it keeps going. So that's, that's my estimate for the value of, um, right, the cubed root of 1.1. Using this is the using a degree three power series. Right. And what's fun, of course, is now we should we could and should ask, okay, what if I just crunch this out into a calculator? What do I get? Right? It's very fun to um, compare the answers. So up until this point, I wanted to do it with using no technology whatsoever. <laughs> which is sort of a ridiculous claim, right? As I'm writing with an Apple pencil on an iPad, recording a video, which I'm about to post to YouTube. So, it, it, but you know, you, you know the kind of technology that I'm uh, purposefully avoiding right here. Um, right, I didn't use any calculation and electronic calculation devices to assist. Um, I could have scratched all of this into the sand on a beach uh, with a stick like Archimedes at Syracuse, right? Um, so anyway, um, now let's pull up a, a calculator and let's ca let's calculate the cubed root of 1.1. 1. 1, um, and we will get to see how does this compare. Um, here's what's super, super cool is if you calculate this, this estimate is actually amazing, right? The calculator, do this, do this yourself. Do this yourself. Don't believe me. Go ahead. Go do it yourself. Uh, but in case you don't have one nearby, I'll tell you. One oh one point oh three two two eight oh one one five four six, you know, and it keeps going, right? But it's super cool, right? The these digits that we got out to that eight, it's actually correct out to that eight or our, our estimate, right? Um, 
Notice the next digit would be wrong if I carried this out one digit further, right? If I put one more three here um, and another one here, right? Um, I think then the next digit would not actually be right on this. Um, because here we would subtract that four, six. Um, so I'd get 14, so one four oh. So you get a one up there, right? 81 would go one time into the that 14, that 140. Right, so then I'd have a one here. So then what would my next digit be? I'd have three minus one plus one um, would be a three, would be that digit on this estimate, right? Um, oh, sorry. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, that would be a two, because I subtracted off that. There we go. And then two plus one. So I'd add a three back in there, right? So so this digit would actually not be correct, right? It displays a three and it should have been a zero, right? So, but still, like we got what one, two, three, four, we got five places past the decimal, correct? Just with this little degree three power series estimate, right? This little function up here, just using these binomial coefficients. It's kind of unbelievable, right? To be able to compute a cube root up to that accuracy. Um, all right. Great. So this is, um, sure enough, we, we got a very good estimate, right, um, doing this using our, our binomial series. Great. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.